which one is it? Harry Potter and... And the Prisoner of Azkaban. Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh, here, here it is. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, and the stream started already. Cool. I hit the button expecting it to take a second, but no, it started right away. So hello, people. Um, we're doing a kind of a late, uh, really late night uh, snark fest um, for the Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, we do apologize for this being so late. I literally was at my uh, nephew's birthday party before this. Nice. So yeah, um, we had we had family obligations. Let's put it that way. <laughs> um, uh, like I said, with all the Harry Potter movies, I've not seen this. Um, I know this is your least favorite. So it is my favorite book. My least favorite movie. Really? Okay. Because I hate how they adapted my favorite <laughs> book. All right, fair enough. So, um, like I said, there's not. I don't really think we got a lot. I kind of. I don't really want to talk too much about this going in. So I just kind of want to start it off. Um, so let's see. This was released in uh, 2004. Yeah, two three. Two thousand four. Okay. One of the other. Yeah, there was okay. um because the first two movies came out 2001, 2002, and they both came out around Christmas time. Because I remember going. And then there was a long gap between two and three because they were changing directors. Uh, Richard Harris died and they needed to replace him. And they there was like a lot of weird stuff that was going Behind on. Behind the scenes stuff, yeah. I so. vaguely remember somebody being like, oh, maybe we should change out the actors because they're growing up too fast. And I was like, or you could just film it. And then you wouldn't have that issue. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, re I do remember... Um, I was watching like I think it was like Conan Conan O'Brien or like it was one of those late night shows and they had Daniel Radcliffe on it and he said that they were going like the original actors were going to do the first three movies and then they were going to switch them out for the last couple movies but apparently they did I don't I don't know what happened there um, I do know that digital de aging effects have really advanced but I don't I wouldn't think they'd be doing this at this time. So well, like, the know. thing is, like the first three movies, they're the youngest, right? So like they obviously we watched the first two. You could tell that they aged a bit between the two, but like once you actually get through puberty, like by move this yeah. movie, you'll see that they look even older. You kind well, of I'm, like I'm looking at the picture so right now. They look like adults. Them? They're the right age. Like getting yeah. someone younger would actually make it look weirder at this point. I just didn't. Yeah. I'm glad they kept them all, even though I kind of feel bad for the actors because eight movies is a lot for those poor kids to grow up doing. Yeah, no doubt. No, um, but I do remember when we were doing uh the whatever it was, I remember saying, you know, oh wow, puberty hit you like a ton of bricks. Um and Some I mean, of them like I said, actually get a lot better looking after puberty. <laughs> Neville. I the actor that I've plays Neville them. invented the glow up. I kid you not. This kid, like, he's the nerdiest looking character. So he in the goes first from being three like movies, a and then like you don't really see him for a bit, and then by the time the eight, seventh eighth movie comes around, you're like, that can't be the same actor, but it is. <laughs> so he basically went from a little nerdy kid to uh, I, I I don't know who's super attractive for women, a Tom Cruise or something. I don't know. No, it's it's just it's one of those things that like they say happens in movies, but you're like, no, that never happens to people. But yeah, like you said, he's this nerdy, dorky little kid, and he just he's Come a on. he's a beautiful man. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know. I never. I don't know the actor. I've never looked up the actor, but I will take your word for it. Although I will probably look it up afterwards. Who knows? Um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, I mean, I'm looking at the poster right now, and you can tell that they really, they grew up between the last yes, two yes. Last couple movies. So, all right. Um, well, I think we covered all there is to get into it, so let's get into it. Everybody, pull it up. Like I said, this is on Peacock right now uh, for free. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Peacock, newly free. Oh, 98%, 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. Cool. All right. Um, so, yeah, if everybody I wants to I think the only person who hates this movie. <laughs> You're the only one who hates it. Okay. Um, so, like I said, I've never seen it. Uh, rated P. I think they're all rated PG, aren't they? Or is it I like the last so. one, maybe PG 13? I don't know. I don't remember. Um, who knows? Um, so, yeah, like I said, if anybody wants to watch along with us, and again, I really do encourage people to watch along with us. Heck, I really encourage people to do this on your own. If you want to, if anybody, if anybody wants to snark movies, 
go ahead, do these. The reason I started doing this is because I loved uh, Mystery Science Theater. So this is me trying to pay homage to Mystery Science Theater 2000. So I don't think we do it that well because we're not making, we're kind of, we're not making as many jokes, but hey, we're not too, we're not professional writers. So, and more often than not, one or both of us haven't seen the movie, we're cross arguing. So, hey. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, everybody get it pulled up. I'm assuming you got it all pulled up, Radio. Yep. All right. Here we go. Prisoner of Azkaban in three, two, one, play. Movie available at thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, I just got one of those. the same thing. <laughs> yeah. I was like, this is black for a really long time. Yeah. What is They're getting creative. Oh, oh, part of the, okay, that, oh. It's well, the logo, I, yeah. I, I was like, what up is and going away. on? Yeah, no, no, no. I kind of had the same thing. I saw this thing light up and then went away. I was like, oh, is this a loading screen? I was about to say, I think I've got a loading, but then but then I saw I was like, no, that's the that's the Warner Brothers logo. So Yeah, there's a lot that goes on in this movie. So if I remember correctly, they're gonna he starts off at his par his aunts and uncles here, but they're gonna jump into things rather quickly. But they're showing him trying to like do his summer homework under the sheets. That's what that was. What's he's wearing his glasses in bed? You don't do that. You will destroy your glasses if you wear he's them. He's not in bed. actually sleeping in them, though. Well, I know, I know. It's just, but you think the like his uncle would notice that. Also, how is he not able to hold the light? There you go. Kid. Yeah. Although that does remind me, um, there was once I was I was grounded, but I had a big um camping trip for her Boy Scouts coming up. So I remember I had to study and I had to do pretty much that, you know, I, I was grounded. So I'm locked in my room, but I'm studying all this stuff. So I don't remember the scouts codes or anything. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, they got a dog. That's, oh, no, that's oh, that, yeah, that's like a, what is it? Uh, bite your tongue. Yes, and I'm grateful. Way. Yeah, I'm good as my brother to keep him. So that's his aunt, which they alluded to right there. Yeah. I think he just called her Aunt Marge. Like I said, uh, uh, I, I just this movie leaves out a lot of stuff that I. Ugh. Yeah, it's been a while since I've watched it. They have a TV in the dining room. That, that bugs me. If you're in the dining room, shouldn't you be, you know, in the dining room enjoying company, not watching TV? Uh, that's how my mom always felt. Yeah. So, I don't know. What are you smoking at? Where did you say the boys in? It's a private institution for yep. the Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been loads of times. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm expecting him to blow up at his end here. <laughs> oh, she's going off about his parents. He's going to blow up. Yeah, yeah. That, that, I'm like, I'm just, yeah, that, oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, um, it's like, I know he's, at, at this point, he's, let's see, so this is the third movie, he's supposed to be 14-ish? 13. 13? Yeah, so, he just turned 13. Yeah. It's like, it's like, I understand what she's saying is pissing you off, but you think, you know, bite your tongue, buddy. 
Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, when I said I was expecting to him to blow up at her, I wasn't expecting him to literally blow her up like a balloon. Yep. That's. How is he doing this? Where did he learn this spell? I I don't know how underage magic works. I. Oh my god. Yeah, he only just noticed now. Well, he was watching oh, TV. He got, wow, he got knocked out by a button. Again? Yeah, you'd think he would just stay. Just stay I don't the think those like buttons it. would have enough mass to do that. Hey, the guy. <laughs> Look, someone grab onto her before she flies away. Cheese and crackers. Yeah, right. Although, how she bounced out Where's of that little whoa, we can with her. <laughs> Don't you dare! Sorry. <laughs> yeah, and right back to the food. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was. Yeah, yeah, you're in trouble. He knows, obviously. <laughs> that room looks smaller than the one he was in last year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well he's packed up. <laughs> <laughs> he's got yeah he's out okay yeah yeah this is at this point he's got nothing to lose you got no control over him yep he's like i already blew up aunt marge i'm yeah. probably gonna get expelled from the school anyway oh she's oh wow i like that you can see her in the background that's cool um Okay, so his plan should probably be to try and get a hold of Ron, I would assume. Ron or Hermione. Like, hey, can I move anything to you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean... I was, well, it's like, what else would he do? He doesn't know exactly where they live, so... Yeah. Well, where's Hedwig? That's a yeah. good point, actually. Maybe she's flying around to somewhere. Yeah. So, I mean... I mean, there's it's I mean there's not a lot you can really do, especially at the age of like thirteen, fourteen. Right. So right. yeah, like I said, his best bet would be okay, get a hold of someone like, you know, at least I mean, even if it's just like even if it's not Ron or Hermione, but someone who knows you and can take you in at least for a day or two. But and everybody what? else knows his teachers. He literally only knows Ron and Hermione. Yeah. Ooh, is this the beast of Bray Road? <laughs> Big old dog. Oh. Okay, so in the book, the dog isn't barking at him. It's just kind of chilling, sitting across the street, staring at him. Okay. I don't know why the dog is being so vicious. Is that a triple decker bus? Yeah, it's not supposed to be. That's a triple decker. It's a magic bus. I'm surprised it's not like. Well, I, yeah, well, I get that. He's saying emergency transport, so. I tripped. Hello? What you fell over for? I'm doing it on the floor. Oh, come on, man. Let's not wait for the boss to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you looking at? Yeah, oh, get in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I do know a lot of, um, got, like, controlly guys. <laughs> They, especially if you're in a hurry, they're in a hurry, they will be like, you know, get on the bus. 
It is, it is a trip collector bus. Come on, move on, move on, move on. Find a place to sit down and sleep, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> What's with the little voodoo head? Oh. Comically, honestly. I like how everybody else manages to sleep through this. Yeah. What is the, the, the little talking head? Is, I'm kidding. That's cracking me up. <laughs> Ow. But how is nobody else being flown from their beds? Yeah. You think they could have gone around or something, the poor right? little lady? The way they were going in and out of traffic before, why didn't yeah, they go no around doubt. the little lady? That's Gary Oldman. Aww. I didn't see. Gary Oldman's the actor. It is Gary Oldman. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, well, I just, I just see who is that? You say Gary Oldman is like I didn't even see the picture. I'm sorry. No, I know they did it real fast. It's serious black. Yeah. Granted, the last two movies, they would have, you know, really gotten, like, gotten a, you would have gotten a big close-up, and then he would have asked the question. So I do appreciate that. Whee! Um. Wait, uh. Okay, if they can get narrow like this, why did they have to sit and wait for the little old lady? Couldn't they have just gotten narrow and then voided her completely? They could have done a lot of things. Yeah. Ow. That guy looks exactly like an Igor. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? <laughs> yep. Oh, there they go. <laughs> Someone take your car alarm. <laughs> That'll work. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Okay. I see a guy stirring his coffee. It's like, dude, just stir your coffee. You don't need to use the magic to do that. Yeah, I feel like doing this takes just as much energy as actually stirring it. Yeah. Oh, there's Edwig. <laughs> see, she, she was out flying. She knew where to yeah. go. A prisoner of Whoa, crap. crap. <laughs> <laughs> He is really Igor. My gosh, he's got the full hunchback and everything. Oh, Shane has joined us. Hey, Shane. Welcome. What did you just he just cracked some nuts in his hand. Yeah. Oh, is that Cornelius so, Fudge? Is it the same dude they used in the last movie? I don't know. <laughs> Come on. What's it matter? Just tell him. 
Yeah. Just, okay. Is there's so is something's up. Something's with Harry. I don't. Um. Don't know. Um. But there's. We we mentioned. I'm sorry. I, in the first movie, did Hagrid say where he got the bike from? I don't recall. Because in the book, he says he borrowed it from Sirius Black. So you're like, oh, hey, look. How is he a bad guy? Hagrid oh, borrowed I got an his ad. bike. I have an okay, ad. Okay, I got an ad. Are you on an ad? Yeah, I have an ad. Okay, good. I'm getting like a little house. Uh, yeah, she should be in the okay. same ad. Yeah, okay. So, um. Oh, we're back. I'm having some questions now. Yeah, yeah, that was a short ad. I God. expect you to have a lot of questions with this movie. <laughs> well, yeah, well, it's like, because I, I remember, I mean, even earlier in this movie, they said you're not allowed to do magic outside of school. Well, he just blew up his aunt. Shouldn't he be expelled? Well, that's what the minister uh, was saying. Uh, They're, they were, uh, they were more, in this movie, they were more concerned with Harry's safety than the fact that he was the, just... What's, this is a monster book. They, they honestly should have just left this book out of the movie. This is just for comedic. It's gonna murder your face. Yeah, it's, it's a gonna book. Murder your face. Oh nom 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 nom. Apparently the book's very stupid to realize it's not. A... I don't know why they even left it in the movie. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna check. He's gonna sacrifice his shoe to catch it. Uh, that'll work. Arr. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I like that. that. That's a good look, clip. Oh, uh, look, there's Ronan. There's uh, Scabbards and uh, Hermione got a cat. <laughs> Crookshanks. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's my name. Thank you. Right? We, I, that doesn't seem like a. That doesn't seem like a really like a genuine greeting of a friend. I expect it to be more of you know, oh hey dude, or you know something, just not just Harry. <laughs> The early 2000s hairstyles. Everybody has the longish hair. It's so bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, they're really getting the, the Gary Oldman there. Yeah. Nothing. It wasn't 13 years ago, it was 12, dude. It was 12. You don't know me at all, do you? Yeah, clearly. <laughs> oh, he still didn't. I don't remember when they actually get into it. So there you go. Sirius Black wants Harry dead yeah. because Sirius is 
Voldemort's biggest supporter. Okay. Why would Harry want to go after him? Yeah. Uh, the word of word of advice to anybody: If someone wants to kill you, don't go looking for them, unless they don't actually want to kill you. Yeah. How is it she knows everything? I'm terrible. So okay, so Sirius Black doesn't want to kill Harry. He's actually an ally. Is he like a good guy who's pretending to be a bad guy? Um, it's I. You can't drop a bread crumb like that and not expect me to dig no. into it. I'm gonna leave it at that because I honestly don't remember how well the movie explains it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, so I but I know now that Sirius Black is not after Harry to kill him. How often so. has any of these movies where the obvious bad guy was actually the bad guy? Is my point. Very true. Very true. <laughs> I'm sorry, is that guy still asleep? You yeah. think someone would have woken him up? Nah. Oh. Why would the train stop? How would a magic train break down and what happened to the lights? Smoky. I like the kind of mist effects they got going from the train, especially on a cold night. It would look like that. Right. That's cool. No, that, I mean, that's something that I see a lot, especially around, around here where I live. When we get to like negative 40 degrees, you will see the warm air rising out of sewer vents. You will see that steam rising out of sewer vents. So I'm, yeah. so I appreciate that. Wow. That you, okay. Your hand would be freezing if that, if it got that cold that quick. Right. Your hand would be, you would it would be frostbite. He's still asleep. He's doing a very bad job of being asleep too. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I he's obviously awake, but so I'm assuming this is the devil thing my brother told me about. Yes. Oh, wow, that is really. Wow. Oh, what oh, oh, we got? What is it? Soul sucking? Yep. It only likes Harry, though, apparently. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you Really? Oh. You're not going to say anything? Okay. That is. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, so that was supposed to be his mom screaming. Because I don't. It's it's I said screaming on the subtitles, but I didn't. It didn't really sound like anything. What was that a bar of chocolate? Yes. Which he actually did just say. Yeah. Dementor, huh? Excuse uh, me. You would think they would have, you know, checked the train before they left. So they were actually supposed to be on the train, but nobody expected them to attack any of the students. Yeah. So it was affecting them. Yeah, just not as strongly as it yeah, affected them. It, 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 was, it, it was affecting them, but it was like mostly focused on Harry, I guess. Yes. Okay. Oh, nice reflection effect. What does it mean? <laughs> oh, 
So they, okay, hold on, hold on. The first year they went to school in boats, and yes. now they're being brought by carriages? So only the first years cross in boats. Like, oh. they do it, yeah. All the other students from second years up travel by carriage. Ah. Uh, do they explain that in this movie? No. Yeah. I like the choir here. Oh, they're, oh, well, they're hold on, they're carrying something. They have toads. Yes. <laughs> All right, why not? I'll take it. Oh, uh, oh. new Dumbledore. Yeah, new Dumbledore. I mean, when when an actor passes away, you kind of have to. I mean, no, not, I, I mean, know you have to replace them, but yeah. you would think you would be able to find someone who embodies the character. Still. Yeah. This dude just. I don't. Oh, he's the teacher too. He's the new defensive considerer. Teacher, person. okay. Yeah. No, he was just a random. Who else did you think a random adult was on the train? Oh my. Who told God. him? Who told him that you that he fainted? <laughs> there um, were only three other people in that room. That I don't think they'd be sharing that. Hager got promoted. He's an actual teacher now. Oh, he knocked over the table. Why do all the boys look like they need to brush their hair? No doubt. Well, I mean, you mentioned earlier, at this, especially in this time frame, everybody had the long hairstyle. Yeah. It's like, yeah, get a comb. Oh, especially you, dude. You, they, you were, oh, I think it's a camera kid. Like, <laughs> I think that was the camera. The they always explain Harry's hair is never actually looking good, no matter how many times he brushed it. It still looked disheveled. So he, I understand, but like all the other boys have no excuses yeah. why the hair hasn't been brushed. There you go. So basically, stay the away from the Dementors. Yes. <laughs> They're here to protect you guys, but they will fuck you up if you, if you screw with them. I mean, magical creatures are like that. They just don't really give a crap. Yep. That was an easy... I'm sorry, that effect there is like, that is so easy. I could, do, I could make that effect happen. Is that where the have they ever actually showed them going through the painting before? The first movie, I think they did, but I don't weren't. But I thought in the first movie they were at the end of a hallway, not on the thought. staircase. So they did change the entrance here. Yeah. Neville looks really nerdy for a kid. The middle of puberty is not suiting him yeah, well. Better. Who's that better other guy? Though? Who's this? Uh, who's that other guy talking to Harry? That's Seamus. Seamus hey, Finnegan. Yes. He's the one who blew things up all the time in the first movie. Oh, he blew up the feather. Okay. Yeah. It's like, but we haven't seen. But we did. We did. Did we even see him in the second movie? Um, uh, they didn't really like focus on some of like on the. On like these characters in the second movie at all. Okay, and just I'm not sure what they're. they're it looks like they're taking like little pills that give them animal things. I think it's um they're just eating candy. Yeah. So and I mean to be fair, I've had plenty of nights doing stuff like that. Um, like okay, here's this really bad like here like here's like a jalapeno which I I cannot do spicy food is a. Whoa, there are a lot of them. They are all over that place. Yep, they're trying to keep out Sirius Black. <laughs> uh, I, okay. <laughs> but um I but I, that I do remember like, you know, you'd be like you'd be with your friends, you know, oh, we're gonna 
you know, here, I dare you to eat this jalapeno, or, you know, or do something stupid. So, yeah. <laughs> my mind, you no, know, seeing them do that, my mind goes back to doing stuff like that when I was a kid. So, I appreciate that scene. Yeah, clear. Yes. That's uh, all right. Like back to it. The ads are not long, which I appreciate. And yeah, that is kind of nice. What's a little blue jay? I think so we're gonna watch this, but then they're not going to explain anything. They just wasted a lot of time. Oh, the Whomping Willow's gonna hit it. That's fun. Okay. Look, he's still there. That tree was a the lot. The tree. The tree that likes to punch things and decide to screw up the bird. That's not a. That's not really a classroom setting. No, she uh, holds her classrooms at the top of a tower. Fair enough. The art of reading. Oh man, I know plenty of people who do this now. <laughs> My coworkers. But there are workers. Oh, I have a coworker who does that stuff. Uh, that was a little creepy. Why are you looking at Dean's cup? Poor Dean. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh, he's supposed to be reading Harry's cup. Oh. Or his own? I don't know. So, basically, building discipline. She barely even looked at that. Yeah, she just freaked out about something. The Grim? Are you. Okay. And it's and a dog. Saw a big black dog earlier. Yeah. Nice tie in. Maybe it's not BS. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Um. Or it's still BS. What do you think? <laughs> I'm hoping that is not BS. I'm hoping that there's like a thing behind it, but but I mean, it's, you know, he saw a big black dog earlier and the tea leaves formed a big black dog, so I'm hoping that it's tied together personally. I don't think this continuity fits up because I thought Hagrid's hut was like at the end of a plane, it not is. a hill. Yeah, not like no. a so, again, this movie has a different director than the last movie, so I guess he decided that Hagrid's hut needs to be at the bottom of stairs because you're right, it was like just across a grass yeah. yard or something and it was really yeah. close to the castle before. Stroke this. <laughs> I'm sorry. They have books that can eat your face, and they and you have to. So you have to stroke the spine. You stroke the spine. Stroke the spine. It's Neville. You're not supposed to be surprised. Stroke the spine. It's eating your face. <laughs> it's eating your face. What else am I supposed to say? It's doing. It looks like it's going directly at his face. <laughs> Oh, someone punch him. <laughs> oh, wow. He's really, he got tall. <laughs> what? Okay. I'm sorry. They put up the hoods and there was a moment there. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's ne about time you notice. Anyone really surprised that Neville had problems with his book? No. Yeah. 
What are we? Whoa. Hello. It's like a griffin in reverse. Fuck me, huh? Hippogriff, okay. Um, I don't know if hippogriffs are an actual thing in reality. So I'm a, she may have made it up. I'm trying to think back. But it looks like a griffin, so I'm a little... Yeah, you said it looked like a backwards griffin. Yeah. Got the eagle head like a griffin. Oh, griff is an actual legendary creature. It is? Huh. Yes. The front half of an eagle and the hind half of a horse. Ah. Oh boy. Uh, and I, no, um, Hermione just grabbed, it looks like Hermione grabbed Ron's arm. And uh, I remember you last movie saying that they like, that they like each other. So I'm like, okay. Are we well, gonna see they them don't actually, admit like, it for another six movies, but. It's good. So it's good that the, they're, the still that they're laying the groundwork there. Yes. Harry's going to be doing a lot of volunteering in this in this class. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, and I'm just like, okay. In reality, this is especially with a. Yeah, yeah, you really, yeah. Oh, why did you snicker at him? You were the one who grabbed his hand. <laughs> yeah, and always, always, always. <laughs> Oh, it's he fine. said, let him come to you. Stop approaching. Wait, what? Yeah, ride him <laughs> this is a little... I'm, I'm sorry. This is a little... This is a little much. Right? Like, uh, no saddle? I've never ridden anything before, Hagrid. This is a terrible idea. <laughs> this is not like riding a broom. Okay, that thing's wings expand, grew a lot when it took off. Because when it was on the ground, the wings were pretty small. Its wings got real big there. Um, I'm going to give it to Hagrid that this is a tame animal. But I know in reality, like, if you were to meet a wild horse... You know, it's going to take you at least like an, almost an hour to actually gain the horse's trust enough for you to approach it, to touch it. And if to actually ride it, you're talking at least a couple days. So I'm going, I have to give it to them that this is a tame animal. And that's why it's so comfortable deal, you know, letting Harry touch it and ride it. Yeah, I'm sure Hagrid already got it. Yeah, it, yeah, it has to be a tame animal of some kind. I am king of the world! Thank you. <laughs> uh, that was literally my exact thought. <laughs> it doesn't have any tail feathers, and that bugs me no end. Oh, yeah. No, because it just has the, the... It's got a horse's back. Back end. Yeah. No, you, it would, if it were, if it were able to fly, it would have to have tail feathers. No, I mean, birds rely on their tail feathers in order to, to fly, so... Or not to fly. I mean, like, a bird can fly without the tail feathers, but it helps them with, you know, you know, able to control themselves. I mean, it's a magical creature. Um... Oh, Malfoy, don't be a dick! Oh. Uh... Bow, 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 bow. They made a big deal about bowing. Bow before the thing. It's going to kick your ass. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, shut up. Uh, cut his arm off and I'll and be fine. It didn't look like it got like he got that bad. 
It, he didn't. He's being a baby. Wow. I mean, mind you, I do know a horse. Like, if a real life horse were to kick you like that, your arm's broken, and that's being generous. <laughs> so he got really, really lucky if he just got a scratch. Well, the ghost. Hey, your horse has a ghost too. Thank God. It's the headless hunt. I'm just oh. kidding. That would make. I don't know what the headless hunt is, but you know, heck, work it in. Oh, shut up. I'm sorry, the character's name is blanking on me. He really, his role was nothing. He, he made a feather explode in the first one. He, I don't think we saw him in the second one. He's really getting his screen time in now. Yeah. Gary Olvey. Okay, oh, wait. why are we watching flowers get frozen and die? Yes, to we show know. The characters are there. We get it. A uh, cabinet with mirrors that's bouncing around. Yep. I'm assuming, obviously, there's something in it. I'm curious what that something's going to be. I don't know. They decided to put Auger. both tall sisters into Gryffindor. Okay, something's going on with Hermione because this is the second time Ron said, How did you get here? <laughs> Was she in the scene at the beginning? I don't know. I don't. I wasn't exactly looking for her, so now I'm now I'm gonna have to be watching because something's up. Ridiculous. <laughs> okay. So the boggart is something that thrives on fear and basically laughing at it is great. I mean, well, that's, that's true. Oh, you're going to have Neville go first. Oh, sure. He's probably the biggest scaredy cat in that entire place. Oh, but he screws everything up the first try. He already got ma mauled by a book. It won't. I want to speak to her clothes, holding her clothes very clearly in your mind. She carries a red handbag. Yeah. Not only you see it, you'll see it. I want to open that water. Hello? You do that? I'm <laughs> ready. Snape. <laughs> this had been a little weird for Alan Rickman to film. <laughs> oh man, Alan Rickman! I hope you got paid well, man. They got actually put out. They they put Alan Rickman in drag. Uh, Ron's up next. It, What's with the music? Ron? Just for fun. It's going to turn into a spider. I remember he had a thing for spiders. He does have a thing for spiders. You're correct. Uh, I and hate spiders too, so I don't make his legs pop off or something. Oh, they didn't even explain that Ron has a new wand. Finally. Well, I, I, would, I can't. See new one. It's all okay. Roller skate. I I can I can give that. That's good. Oh man, I That's hate spiders so much. So yeah. Time. Snape. 
Snake. Oh, I love snakes. <laughs> I pet the thing. I love snakes. Clown. He's left-handed. Clown. Uh, hold on. Uh, wouldn't Harry be like um Voldemort? I think you should probably get so, get him. You're gonna have a if Voldemort running run, around. He's like, this probably is a bad idea. Yeah. I, oh, Dementor. Oh, huh, that's something. Uh, a moon. And okay. <laughs> So his greatest fear is the moon. I'm trying to think what. Why would you I be have a suspicion? No, because I mean, no, because they made it. They made it very, very clear that his fear was the moon. So that means so it, there, it obviously has to play in in some way. I'm trying to think of what his what you know mythological thing involves the moon, and the only thing coming to my mind is a werewolf. No permission for our sign. No visiting the village. That's the rule. Oh, that was the permission slip he was trying to get Uncle Vernon to yeah, sign. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember this. Okay, can you sign this? <laughs> They can't make an exception to let him go to where to go on the field trip. Seriously, um, hello. There's a bad guy out to get him. They're not gonna let him go. Especially, they're not making exceptions for that. Well, then why are they letting everybody else go? Because Sirius Black isn't after everyone else. They're only after Harry. But then I remembered that I haven't really. What do you I don't fear really the most is fear itself, huh? Lupin's got some nice scars on his face. I don't think I've ever noticed them before. Oh, well, Lupin knew his parents. Yeah, yeah, they just said. This is just an exposition up here. <laughs> Exposition that serves no purpose. Yeah. No, his, I'm sorry. It's like his father has certain talent for trouble. It's like. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but that was. So all we got out of that three minutes of exposition was that he went to school with Harry's parents. Yeah. Not any of the other friends that him and James had. Oh, those just, those stairs are different. The, st the stairs are a lot, lot are, are a lot thinner than the, what they were in the beginning. Yeah, they uh, were like really in the first movie, the under the underside of the stairs were like actual like a staircase. They were big. They were pretty thick. These are like they're like they're like paper almost. What's going on here? <laughs> Fat ladies, is that gen whoa? Hello, someone got scratched. Well, all these paintings are clearly in, so ask the paintings what happened. 
Yeah, yeah. These yeah. paintings clearly know what the hell is going. Ask the paintings what happened. They're clearly aware of what's going on. Trying to figure out why one of the Parvati twins has a side ponytail when those have been out of style for twenty years. Even in two thousand four, this was not in style. Yeah. No, because it would make more sense, because you're right. Obviously, the other paintings had to have seen what happened, so it shouldn't be that, what happened? Or if they would have kept the thing at the end of a hall with no one else around, which is how it's supposed to be, yeah. then it would be more of a mystery. Oh, they found her. Serious Black did this, right? Yeah, just say it. Come on, come on. Just say it. Just say it. Thank you. How did he get in? Apparently, the mentors suck at their jobs. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. They're supposed to be there to, to make sure he doesn't get in, and he got in. You fail at your job. Well, I mean, the Dementors guard Azkaban, and he escaped them then. I don't know why they think the Dementors are going to keep him out of Hogwarts. Yeah. They couldn't that's keep him in really Azkaban. Weird, that's a wacky obviously, lock system. They don't do crap against him. Okay, okay, hold on. That is straight out of a horror movie type thing. <laughs> to see that scene of, what, like, the castle with all the lights on, and then you see the ominous black devil things flying in, that's a horror movie shit right there. Oh, they're sleeping in a cafeteria. What else are they going to sleep? Although I think the cafeteria would be wider than this. Yeah, this does look really small for the Great Hall. Uh -huh. I Why hope they are have a card. This stuff among the kids, you know some of them are still awake. Yeah, well, you can see some of them are still awake. Yeah, there's Harry. He's still awake. Oh, he's not wearing his glasses, thank God. Okay, dude, you're looking a little too there. No, that's not a conversation to have right there. You would, yeah. Right. Oh, look, it's fall. Okay. We're spending a lot of time on this leaf. Okay. One also, leaf falls in all the other side of your bail. The castle. I just can't get over how far it is now. Oh, Snape. Three ninety four. Are you still wearing a sling? Yeah, he's really milking that injury. He's really milking that. As it is said, Rock does find himself incapable of teaching at the present time. And on page three hundred and ninety four. <laughs> Werewolf. Okay, so yeah, he's a he's seeing as he's afraid of the moon. He's got the uh, Lupin. He's afraid of the moon, or uh, he's afraid of the moon. So he's a werewolf. That's got to be it. A werewolf has no choice. For these women, when he transforms, he no longer remembers who he is. He is less friendly than his Furthermore, the werewolf only responds to all of his own kind. Oh! That's. Yeah, thanks, my boy. That is a sense of time. Yeah. Now that you know he's great, but are you incapable of restraining yourself? Or do you take pride in being an insufferable. Yeah, I was about to. Yeah. Five points from Gryffindor. Well, he asked if anyone knew the answer. She raised her hand and he ignored her. Well, you stay quiet then. Don't just don't just interrupt the teacher. 
You shut up about. So they were talking about animagus. Yeah. Which, which is what the, like, uh, turned into animals. Well, I remember, remember um, I remember McGonagall turned into a cat yeah. at, the, at the first movie, so. Exactly. That's why she is an animagus. So, is, I wonder if this is like um, the, um, I forget what it's called. The, the thing they had in the last movie, like the, where he's talking to snakes. I wonder, is this like a power that, you know, is this a talent that only a few people can do or can anybody do that? And they're playing in the middle of a storm. Oh, the animagus? It's something you can learn to do. Okay. Which they really should have gone into more. Because I don't... Oh, hold the phone. Someone just got zapped by freaking lightning. Yeah, that makes Call sense. the... Seriously. Call this game. They, these kids are going to die. Yeah, if this was a softball game, they would have called it. Yeah, I'm sorry. You don't... Oh, yeah, he, uh, he got zapped. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, the dog cloud. Okay, something bad's happening. What's going to happen? Serious Black's going to attack you, I guess. I don't know. Since There's when did no way. Blue there is no it. way you'd be able to see that thing in this type of weather. That's not freezing good. up. Okay, so it's Dementors going to come. Unless, unless Sirius Black can freeze things too. And that umbrella is still flying around. It's a twister. It's a twister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, there is a Dementor chasing him. Okay. Oh, another one got T bone him. Okay, oh, are, can we call kid. the game now? Can we call something? This kid's going to get killed. Nice stall effect. Someone seriously call this game. He's being attacked. I think attacked. he's too high. I don't think anyone can actually see what's going on. Yeah, you just got ripped. Yeah, you did. Yeah, he's dead now. Yeah. Well, he's not on his broom. I don't know if he knows how to fly. No. He may be unconscious. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you're not dead, but... Okay, everybody's right in his face. <laughs> yep. Ow. How are you feeling? Like shit. Yeah. Hey, look, there's the other person that got zapped by lightning, though. Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait. Uh oh. You're. Hey, is that. His broom got screwed up, it looks like. Oh. Well. Oh. The Whomping Willow. It was not happy, so it decided to screw up the broom. Well, it flew into it. You know how the that broom? thing is when it gets touched. That thing does not like people. It doesn't like being it decided to screw up. It killed a flipping bird for landing on it, and now it just screwed up. It just completely destroyed a broom. Absolutely are they walking through the forbidden forest? What is going on right now? Me? Where I don't think I can't think of any other forest nearby the castle that they'd be walking through. So apparently, the forbidden forest is actually a very pleasant place in the day. Oh yeah, during the day, sure. Oh, hey, Hedwig. I'm s they're always by... I wish they had explored more with the lake. 
like if like but put like a sea monster or something into it because they're by a they're by a massive body of water and they're in England, which is notorious for having a lot of lakes that are supposedly home to sea creatures. Loch Ness monster just being the most famous one. I wish they had done something with the lake in the books or in the books in the movies. I'm pretty I'm or at least I hope they did something in the books, but next movie, dude. Next movie. Okay. Okay. So, so I'm just going, I'm a little too far ahead, but uh, all right. Yeah. So where? What is the where, clock tower? What? Oh, he put on, he's got the invisibility cloak. Too bad it doesn't hide his footprints. Ah, uh, and the twins got him. <laughs> What's with Hogsmeade? Uh, it's a nearby wizarding town that 30 years and above are allowed to visit. Yeah. It's got like shops and restaurants and just, you know, a change of scenery okay. from Hogwarts. Okay. Fair enough. So basically, so basically like when I, like when I was a senior in high school, you were allowed to go out to, um, you know, you, you were allowed to leave campus grounds when you're on lunch and stuff. Yeah. Okay. So I'm assuming that's like that. What are those things going up and down? Is that really the whole case? That's a very dangerous item to have because what happens if the guy who wants to kill you finds it and decides to read it? But he can only read it if he knows how to open it up. Otherwise, it's just a oh. piece of parchment. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, and okay, and he would have to assume that this is a uh, you know that this is uh, important. Otherwise, yeah, okay, because it because it looked like just a regular piece of paper, I guess. So yeah, okay, exactly. fair enough. Fair enough. So. So yeah, it'd have to be like, oh, I know this is something important versus so, so long as you keep it hidden. Invisibility cloak. Also, as long as, you know, the guy trying to kill you has never seen it before. Yeah. Ooh, candy shop. I can't imagine the Marauder's map being anything that's, that's yeah. probably the only one that exists. Yeah, Honey Dukes is a candy shop. Well, hold on. Oh, you just true. stole the kid's lollipop. Uh, put the lollipop underneath the cloak. Is there a building that's floating? Yes, there no, is. No, it's just on a snow-covered hill. It's oh, okay. It looked like it's floating. <laughs> when you get punched in the nose... Because I'm assuming he's gonna get punched in the nose in one of these movies. I will laugh, and it will be fun. Thank you. <laughs> the wall. <laughs> He's quite flexible underneath that cloak. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, or I'm, at least I'm assuming this is Harry, but he's doing good. Well, he's not wearing the sling anymore, so I guess he's done milking that, but 
Now he's going to be milking that he got. Only to you. Yes. Oh my god, put your cloak back on, dude. You're not supposed to be out. Yeah, well, to be fair, how many people are looking for him? <laughs> or looking at him like, oh yeah, you're not supposed to be here. How many people know that he that he's not supposed to be out at all? Everyone in his class probably knows he's not supposed to be out. Well, are they going to report him? <laughs> I can t I can promise you a lot of my pranks that I did in school would not have gone away if if all if my if my schoolmates if I screens stole on me. Oh, we're going to get an exposition scene coming in. So we're going to get an exposition scene here. Yep. Got to get that okay, door Okay, dude, fit. you got to, you got to, why are you breathing so heavily? Okay, so Sirius Black killed Peter. Dude, hold your freaking breath or something. Why are you breathing so heavily? He's trying a finger. That's all the finger. That's not much for a funeral. <laughs> And now he wants to finish what he started. Oh, they're deleting after this, like the worst of it. Oh, yes. Yes. Sidious Black was. It remains to this day. Just goes. Wow. That's a. Uh, that's a uh, twist. Why was. McGonagall and Cornelius yes. oh. are running through the he just knocked over Christmas carolers. He just completely plowed through the Christmas carolers. He could have gone around. Go comfort your friend. Even though you don't know why he needs comforting. Well, you hear him crying. He's a terrible crying Hug actor. Him. Yeah. Hug him. He was that friend. I think we trade them. Because when he does, I'm gonna be ready. When he does, I'm gonna kill him. He's pissed. There, I. They should have had them hug and like you know. They are really getting a freaking time for the Whomping Willow. Did they just skip Christmas? Apparently. Because Harry gets a new broom for Christmas. Because he needs the broom to play Quidditch later. So, I... Is, so, he got a broom for Christmas. Or something like a how many happy memories do you think Harry Potter has? Yeah. He... Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Um, I do remember that uh, on there was a website because um, there's a person I follow on Facebook, uh, Heather Feather or Heather Feather. Um, I forget. Uh, Heather After Effects. Uh, she does like a lot of cosplay and stuff, and she posted something like, "What's your Patronus?" And I remember I did that. And mine was obviously a crow. Which everybody says is pretty much my spirit animal, so. And he's gone. What's with the constantly chocolate bars? Are they like the cure for dementorism? Well, I mean, like, so dementors make you feel sad and depressed. Eating chocolate makes you feel happy is the crappy reasoning behind it. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you touching the fire? Because he's awkward. Right. He's best. <laughs> Oh, here we go. We got some. Oh, we got a white thing. <laughs> Wait. <sighs> I thought that Patronus things were supposed to be animals. Yeah, they are. The director decided to not. To make it a little us. tornado thing? So, uh, for this scene, we'll at least explain it as it was his first try. It wasn't strong enough to take Animal a form. good form. Okay. We'll go with that. Well, fair enough. We'll go with that. Like I said, the only thing I know is, like, I took a, one of those tests of, like, you know, no, what so animal is your Patronus? And, like I said, mine was a pro. why this movie irritates me is because the Patronus is supposed to be an animal. And they don't depict it well at all in this movie. At all. It's mostly that shield tornado white light thing. Yeah. And you're like, that is not... Why? Why did you do yeah. that? Well, there's, a, there's a question for you. What's your Patronus? <laughs> Probably a cat. Let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you do love cats. <laughs> They're really going off on the rat. It's a cat. Meow. Look at that face. That cat is so ugly, actually. Yep, yeah, I've I've been in a. Well, let me just. I I got deposed once, so I do know exactly what stuff like that's like, and I've been in plenty of company meetings where it's like, yeah, we're here because blah blah blah. I remember once I was in a company meeting where the entire point of the meeting was to discuss what we could and couldn't discuss during company meetings. So. Uh, didn't you just say you're not sad and you're crying here? No, he said he's not being sacked. Sacked. Oh. I didn't read the subtitles, so. That's all right. 
I got gotcha. you. Oh, they got their dorm back, I guess? Yeah. I mean, that happened six months ago at this point. Nightmare. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do spiders want him to tap dance? He was having a bad dream. I've had plenty of nightmares. I've never had one where things are telling me to tap dance. Angus Finch? Yeah, Filch, the caretaker. Peter, whoa, hold on, hold the phone, hold on. They said Peter's dead. Okay, um, so Peter Pettigrew is not dead. He has a, I guess he has a cloak, I guess. He, it, yeah, the paintings are trying to sleep. Why doesn't he have his cloak? Yeah, no doubt. They messed something up here from the book, too. Yeah, they he, they did real... Okay. Uh, if you're ever hold, using a torch or something, you don't hold it in front of you because the light from the torch will just blind your eyes. You hold it behind your head. That way it casts light past your eyes and you can see. Yeah, he's got to have an invisibility cloak or something because he just went right by you. I like the pitter-patter yeah. noise, though, they're making for him. Yeah. Because there was clearly something walking. Ah, turn off shit. Turn off light. Turn off light. Bail, bail, bail. You're busted. You don't know your dad. He probably did. Yep, it's his apartment. Uh, he's clearly holding his wand, so you should have put your wand in your pocket or something. Uh, Whoa, did, um, did it really say that? Yeah, it did say that. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't get a good look because I recognize it said something, but I didn't see what it said. I suspect it's a Zonko. Nevertheless, investigating its good quality to make tests. Okay, so that explains how he gets the map. I forgot how he got it. The way he confiscated that, he knows what that he knows what that is. I think. Apparently, they didn't recognize that it was first Harry with the wand, not Snape. How do you know it's a map, Lupin? Yeah, I knew it. He knew. He knew what it was. It never occurred to you that this, in the hands of serious black. How do you know it's a map, Lupin? He's the one who made it, I bet. I'm betting he's the one who made it. Your mother gave their lives to save yours. 
Then they were sacrificed by wandering around the castle, unprotected with a kilometer who sits in a pretty poor way to the table. No, I will not cover up the European character again. I want you to return to the Dominican state. Don't take any detour. I shall know. How will you know, Lupin? I said, just so you know, I don't think that affords words. Only of all the ships are in the castle. The way he reacted there. It would have taken all of two seconds to add. Yes, I am the one who made it. I'm Mooney. Or not revealed. Why are we looking? Ron is totally asleep. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you're really getting a little, that's really getting a little creepy there. <laughs> you're really, that's, I'm sorry, you're really getting in on her. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that was a little harsh. Yeah, that was a little... Oh, she just walked by. Everybody she takes the donation, so I think it's an easy A, by the way. It's why that class is so full. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it does. It? Now, there, I'm having a lot of questions right now, but I'm assuming that they're going to be answered later in the movie. How do you know it's a map, Lupin? Yeah, the primarily like the, well. That thing didn't break on the way down, huh? Must be pretty right. durable. It a long way there, too. Not even a scratch on it. Although, you could really cut this scene out of the, out of the movie. It doesn't, you know, he's returning a ball. What do you do? Uh, clearly, Unless something's going to happen. Gonna happen. Otherwise, what will be the point? Come on. Are we going to get a series black coming in? Come on, no. let's see it. No. Oh, we got cat. Things glowing. Uh, Gary Oldman. Yeah, I see his face. That's definitely Gary Oldman. He's got a really distinctive face, so yeah. <sighs> She's full on possessed. You're possessed. She has no idea. I see that. <laughs> yeah, uh, at this point, you bail. Because, <laughs> yeah, your teacher was clearly possessed by something. Just run. She gave an actual prophecy. Come on. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, there you go. Cut to black again. I thought she said There's things so were going to happen tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What is that? It's the dude that's going to kill uh, Buckbeak. Oh, Headsman. 
Uh, there are better ways. Why do you need an axe that big? Um, it's a wild animal, and a guy got. Oh, he's really. I'll blow this. You're, you're you're sniffling a little coward. I appreciate that they're, they're sniffling at with her mind with a quote mud blood in his face. <laughs> oh, yes, you yes, yes, thank you. When did she switch her wand from her right hand to her left though? I don't know, but she just full on punched him, and that was amazing. She punched him, and then he hit his head off the rock behind him. That was like a double whammy. Yeah, that was beautiful. I love it. What's with the cats or things? Oh, look. Those are still the trees the wind blows through. Why don't we just set him free? No, it was me. Double door again, the trunks. Come on, don't you know double door? Because he wants to be with me with me. When it happens, great man, double door. What the heck is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You do no such thing. I don't know what you see, something like that. No. Just took it to be off. Oh, before you do, God. Oh, sorry, your pet's wrong. I think that means you have someone an apology. What? Next time I see Crookshanks, I'll let him know. Oh, come. What the heck? Uh, rock. Ow. Ow. He just got... Hold... What? Who threw the rocks? <laughs> No, wait, uh, wait! You said that Sirius Black wasn't actually after Harry, and they said that uh, Sirius Black was friends. So uh, Sirius Black through the rocks. I guess I'm guessing. Bail, bail! You're not supposed to be there. Bail. <laughs> What's with the scarecrow? That scarecrow is not working at all. No, not at all. Let's go. Yeah. So. Oh, poor Buckbeak. He looks so sad. Oh, that's something that reminds me of um. Uh, I've. Oh, just this just reminds me a while ago I was talking I have a friend who um is a veterinarian so unfortunately she has to put down a lot of pets she always 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 requests that the pet owner be with them I mean it, she it's really hard I know but she res, she wants the pet owner to be there when she does it because and Matt because it's like the pet is you know freaking out and looking for its owner when they put it down and it's so it's last moments is just it panicking yeah she really yeah she's got a thing for ron <laughs> oh he's dead Fuck you scabbers why'd the rat bite him because the rat doesn't want to be held by ron seems a little
Uh, dude, dude, dude. Ron. It just jumped right. Wait. It decides to screw up Ron. <laughs> Uh, watch the tree! Watch the tree! Watch the tree! Ow. Yeah, that would hurt a lot. Yeah. You're gonna get completely screwed up by this massive tree. Yeah. Oh, we got a video game level here. Dive in the hole! Dive in the hole! Dive in the hole! Ow! I'm bad at those games. Yeah, ow, ow. That would, that would probably and break your Her cat comes out and helps them. I think Hermione just does a spell, though, in the movie. Duck. Poor Emma Watson does a lot of screaming in this movie. Yeah. Doc. Uh, no, not a good idea. Why'd you do that? To throw him in the hole. Yeah, She's got really good aim. <laughs> yeah, she does. All right, I'll be right back. Oh, she went oh, right on top of him. Ow, you broke his ribs. Well, if the well, the thing is, the grim was after you, so I'm just I'm just drawing a blank. Why did it completely skip over you and go after Ron? Oh, Ron's screaming. Gary Oldman? Is it Gary Oldman? Yes. Let's see him. Oh, wow. They, oh, hey, look. They really went all out. It's Gary Oldman. Wow. They he really went out on him. I'm not here to kill Harry. That's your favorite. Yeah. They're friends. <laughs> yeah. You should really tell them what's going on. Yeah, well, we already knew it was a werewolf. Oh, well, He's pissed. Yes and no. I am drawing so many question marks here. When 
Oh, this is my favorite. I am so very confused. Disarm him and not blast him through a freaking. How do you know it's a map, Lupin? How do you know it's a map, serious? It's a long time for a rat. It's not uncommon for rats to live. I, like, I don't think 12 years is that long for a rat to live. And I do know it's actually pretty common for a rat to be missing a toe. But... You probably should have done this before. Whoa. Tie him up or something. Tie him up or something. <laughs> So much like okay, somewhat. Okay, if he's the guy who freaking betrayed Harry's parents, keep him away from Harry. You sold James and you ate a bottle of things. You do. Oh, Lord. It's the heartbeat of weapons he possesses. It's such a serious. It's a good gun. But you have done. But you have done. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Try to live a dream, my friend. Hey. Punch him. He's really getting, uh... Will you tie him up or something? Cheesy crackers. He's gonna turn back into a rat and run away. This man, I know what he is. I'm taking the castle. Let's shoot. Let's shoot. Get up. Said we changed the castle. After that, then tie him up or something. Cheese and crackers. You just gotta turn back into a rat and run away. So, Ron, now I'm assuming he has a broken leg. Like the three of us and your dad were besties in high school. Remus here is a werewolf aka mooney and the other three of us decided to learn how to become animaguses so that we could run around with him when he was a werewolf and that's how you get padfoot prongs oh. and wormtail because scabbers is wormtail because of the rat tail yeah sirius is a dog thus padfoot which leaves james potter as prongs two seconds and they never say okay, that. So prongs, what, um, uh, so I'm assuming antlers, so a uh, deer? Yeah. Like a real big deer or elk or something like that? A stag. Ah. Will you tie up the freaking cr criminal now, please? 
Where is everyone? No doubt. She wants to make out with him. Two seconds to say what all the nicknames meant. No. Because they were the ones that made the map. Yeah. Well, you, well, you when you were going through it, but like we covered earlier, it's like, okay, yeah, they made the map, blah, blah, blah. So I put that together. I'm just... It just really frustrates me that they just start talking about it as a map and nobody goes, how yeah, did they, you know yeah. it was in Filch's office for like a billion years. Yeah. Hi, baby. Um... Will someone tie him up? My gosh! Do something so he can't just run away! Because he's gonna just turn to a rat and run away. It's gonna happen. Just watch. No, I know it's gonna happen. Why is the tree not whipping them all? You're asking me? I'm asking the movie why it's not whipping them. Yeah. Okay, so you're not asking me. You're going, hey, movie. Oh, that's not good. You didn't. So uh, why didn't you just, oh, I don't know, chill out in the hat, the stack, until after the moon passed? <laughs> Yeah, 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 there he goes. Turn to a rat and run away. Yep. Why is he you leaving this close to right now? He right. transformed from a rat into a wizard with clothes. Why doesn't his clothes transform with him back into a rat? Where's Snape? I do not know. Also, the tree's not whipping them because they hit the secret knot that freezes it. Oh, there's no they way to freeze the tree. The but that's what they do in the book. Oh, this is a bad idea. Not, no. Hermione, bad idea. Bad idea. It's going to eat It's gonna fall. It's gonna maul you. Yep, you're in trouble now. Is it serious? No, it's Lupin. It's Aries, the inspector. Oh, there's Snape. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> oh, there, there we go. Big dog. Mm. I don't like the werewolf effect. Will you guys run away from the werewolf? At this point, when they realize Snape's a good guy, no. He's protecting the shit out of I know. Ow. Bad idea. Oh. That, that, I heard that was obviously a human howl. Uh, that bugs me to no end. Um, when I was in Boy Scouts, we actually had le well, lessons. We taught. We were taught how to actually howl for wolves. You don't do an owl type sound. It's more of a. You just. It, I don't know how to describe it, but oh my gosh, that bugs me to no end. Or was it on purpose? No. Well, no. I'm. I, I understand it. It's, it's someone. It's a person. But 
it's too clearly a person for me. And even wolves can understand that, no, that's a person. That's not a real one. That's not that's a real fair. howl. That's fair. I think like it was I said, more to distract him from Harry, though, rather oh, than trying coming. to, like, just to make noise yeah. to get him away from Harry. Yeah. But it's, um, when a, because it's, it's a it's a Hollywood cliche that, that when uh that when a wolf howls it goes oh it doesn't do that right. it's, more, it's more about woo it, it doesn't he doesn't you know do that owl oh, type play wow. that's, that's, that's a Hollywood convention it bugs me to no end every time I see it and they're now raping them sucking their souls that's weak. Yeah. Yeah, that's pathetic. You're going to need to do better than that. <laughs> nice try there, Harry. Uh, suicide. They're basically just suicide just bombing it. Many of them. To be fair, there are a lot of dementors. Yeah, it looks like there's a couple dozen now. Ah, uh, yeah. He's very easily scared. I thought they sent the the dementors away, yet they're sitting here sucking everybody. Oh my god! What the hell? So is that the soul? I'm guessing. Yes. Put it back. Put it back. <laughs> oh look! Oh, wait, there we go. There's a deer. <laughs> That's what a Patronus is supposed to look like. That is a properly done Patronus. So oh, it's wait, gonna come to it and just start goring the people with it with its horns. That's what it's supposed to do, uh, but they decide to have it. It just it just forms into a yeah, whatever. But it was very clearly a stag. It was an animal. Yeah. Do they explain yeah. why it's an animal? No. Because this movie doesn't explain anything. Yeah, I like well, like I said, I'm already drawing 30 blanks already. <laughs> Put it back! Put it back! Yeah, well, it just goes back on its own. Oh, that's good. I guess your soul doesn't really like to be away from your body. Yeah, I guess. Oh. And you're gonna pass out now. If you if you don't like quickly transfer it to a a suit of armor, I guess a it doesn't really want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Quick! Someone get out! Get out! <laughs> <laughs> Do we need to draw a transmutation circle on there, too? Yes. <laughs> I love that show. So do we. Are you a witch or an alchemist, Hermione? Are you a witch or what? Are they now? Yeah, his egg is broken. How? Wait, how didn't they say in the last movie goes, that they could heal? You on, Ron? <laughs> time, time. Last movie, they said that the the nurse lady can heal bo broken bones in a jiffy. In this one, he's still got. Why hasn't they? Why haven't they healed his broken bone? They are by a jiffy. She means. Ouch! Maybe no! a few hours instead of all night. I don't know. Oh. I'm sorry. How dumb do you have to be to do that? I understand. I mean, I'm very. I'm as as I'm pretty sure anybody who's ever watched these knows. I'm very emotive when I speak. I'm always doing something with my hands, so I can understand. Oh, he's going to pat something when he's talking, but he he has such little spatial awareness that he's going to pat Ron's no. broken okay. leg. We're okay. It's okay. We're getting to the fun part. Three turns. What? Yes. We're getting to the thumb part. Oh. 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 
Yeah, I'm still drawing. What, what's the, okay? Fair enough. That was funny. <laughs> what's that? Kind of whiny, wibbly, lovely. It's what? why this book's my favorite. <laughs> it's got time travel. So they're going back in time. I'm guessing. Yes, three hours. Okay, so each turn is an hour? Yes. Okay. That's why they kept saying, oh, you, where did you come from? Because she... Oh, oh, okay. That makes sense. I don't remember if they explain it or not. Gra grab your quote. Really sure. big. She took all the classes this year, and your schedule literally won't allow you to do that. But they're like, so oh, she had you're... Like two class so she had two classes at the exact same time, yet she was seeing both of them? Yep. They gave her a time turner so that she could attend both. That raises so many questions. Like, if they, they have these... Trustworthy. But we get to see this again. Oh, she's going to punch him in the face again? Yes, let's do it. See it, see it. It's like when... Uh... Oh, she does explain it. So you can watch yourself punch Malfoy again. Like how Marty McFly really enjoys watching his old man clock back. Oh. Yeah. Good punch. Yeah. Keep dreaming, Malfoy. Yeah. Uh, they really... <clears throat> a very unfortunate camera angle there. Let's put it that way. Well, I mean, it's the early 2000s. The hip huggers were a terrible trend that never yeah. should have been. Tested. Well, like like I said, there was a it was a very unfortunate camera angle right there for a bit. Belts just aren't are useless when uh your pants yeah. hang at your hip, and not your waist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's a, here's another thing I haven't seen. How to Train Your Dragon. Nope, never seen it. Seen the first two. They're pretty cute movies, actually. I've heard they're good, but I haven't seen them. Because from what I mean, from um, the reason I haven't watched them is because they look like kids movies. And I'm like, you know, I'm not really into kids movies now. I'm kind of an adult, but. Yeah, that doesn't stop me from watching kids movies, but to each their own. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, you also watch a bunch of cheesy movies, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so okay, okay. So this is how they moved out of the jar broke and got he got it in the head. Yeah, come on, Harry. Basic time travel. Rose. I remember that rock. Why is there a pebble on the pumpkin? How'd that pebble get on the pumpkin? A crow. Good throw. Ow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I like how she has like the bandages on her chin as if magic can't just heal up a scratch like that. And by chin, I mean cheek. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait, hold, hold on. If because they're gonna free Bupkbeak, how come they just didn't do this when they first left? 
Because they, they didn't know what they were doing. Because they didn't know they needed to free Buckbeak. Ah. See, they had to wait until they moved because they had already seen Buckbeak earlier. Mm -hmm. You can't mess with the flow of time. Yeah, well, I'm just like, like, why didn't they just if they because they already wanted to free Buckbeak to begin with? Why didn't they just do it when they first were there? You know, like, cause because they're still they, clearly in the. If they did, everyone would know that Hagrid did it. But Hagrid's in the hut with them. Dumbledore and the other people are already. They're already there. They're in the hut. Yeah, I got. So nothing. if they, so if the, yeah, that's. Those crows are very upset, and that was a very pathetic lock. If you could, if you well, could what would the three of them would have done with Buckbeak to begin with? Then, if they had still gotten him earlier, I don't really know. Remember they, what they do with him now? I think they chill with him for th for a couple hours. No, they they ride him for a bit. He likes it here. <laughs> Albus does have a really long name, actually. Yeah. Dumbledore is also purposely stalling right now because he yeah, somehow he just knows. Always he knows. Well, we already we established in the last movie he's just that damn good. So yeah. Run. Run, run, run. <laughs> he got away. Buckby got away. Feed the animal. That he said that a little too pompously. Okay, I I like that they trained a crow to land on the guy's hat. I like it. Hey, oh, okay, and he just cut a, a pumpkin out of frustration. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Sure. I'll give it to them. <clears throat> and they're aren't they walking through the Forbidden Forest now? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So And that's how okay, that's how Lupin got past the tree. He froze it somehow. Huh. Lupin had the map and he saw all the names and that's why he needed to yeah. go after them. So they get to sit it's here and chill for a couple hours? Good. Yep. Bats. Why not? Well, I live in Sioux Falls. I live in South Dakota. There are bats everywhere. If I were to go outside, I'd be seeing 100 of them easily. No, just bats to pass the time. Because we can't explain the four nicknames on the map, but we can show you bats flying around for yeah. five minutes. It was my dad. 
But your dad's dead. Yeah, well, they thought Peter Pettigrew was dead, too. Well, there's a big difference between thinking someone's dead and not having a body and thinking someone's dead and having a body. Well, they didn't think they had Peter's body either. Oh, they do have his dad's body. Uh, I don't. Dead. Fine. Be that way. And the moon. Because no one thought, hey, we should probably, because it's not like we can predict the moon status. Right? It's not like Lupin didn't know that he was going to turn into a wolf. So I think they kind of briefly touched upon it. He's, he, um, Snape had been making him potions to keep him from turning. turning into a werewolf and they just stopped giving and he him forgot, to him. he forgot to take it today because of everything going on. Yeah, yeah, right there. There's and you, your... And you hear her going, yeah. Up, but now he's chasing me. Yeah, yeah, you did not think about that one. <laughs> uh, climb a tree or something. I don't know. You got a very pissed off werewolf. I, I'm sorry, I really do not like this werewolf design. It is so spindly. Yeah, it's not very wolfish. It's just yeah, weird yeah. Thing. It does look very hairless. Like I, I don't know. Well, it's, it just well, it just makes me think of like the werewolves in Underworld. I like those. I like that design. But this is just so. It looks like a like, Wendigo. It literally looks like it's naked. Like it, not naked, but like it doesn't have hair. Well, have you ever seen a? Have you ever looked up a Wendigo? It looks like a Wendigo. I yes, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, turn around. Turn around. Head on a swivel. Head on a swivel. You're screwed. Om nom nom. Oh, Buckbeak can save your life. Okay. Yeah, that thing literally doesn't have hair except like down its its spine. Yeah. How is that a wolf? So weird. Buckbeak just saved your lives. <laughs> Here they come. Yeah. Like I said, this is straight out of a horror movie. So we're going to get to watch them get assaulted by Dement. Yeah, here it is. Any minute. No, I'm, it's going to be you. It's gonna be you who does it. It's not your dad. Oh, Everybody man. always says that you look like your, you're like your dad, so it's gonna be you. <laughs> I think everybody saw that one except for Harry. Yeah. Yeah, now how yeah, he gets it. No, that's not wait, what it wait, wait, like. wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Yeah, it, it would look like a stat like a deer, and now it's just a big ball of bluey. That's what Harry sees. That's why I hate this movie. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, no, because it because in the when they first showed it, there was clearly, uh, you know, a stag appearance, well, and in this, it's just people. not there. No, because the, yeah. the stag like was in front of him for a good couple seconds, like you could see it, and then the bright white. white yeah, walk yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. You and definitely saw an animal. No, the perspective is this director's a dumbass. That is, I'm gonna give he went like, fartsy fartsy and missed out on a few key explanations. Yeah. 
No, I, that's why I'm thanking the goddamn I'm watching the movie with you because you've explained everything I've had a question so far. Oh, shut up about the Cleopatra in space. <laughs> Yeah, we got that. Thank you. Yes, we got that. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> She's got a good scream. I do. I, like, I, a, I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I gotta. They really enjoyed using that scene for the trailer, by the way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, they just blew the door Hello, open. Mora wasn't going to work? Yeah, no doubt. You couldn't just unlock the door. You have to blow the lock off? No, but I will say I much appreciate it. Um, when they first flew down, uh, Hermione starts screaming. Or, like, it's like, I don't like flying and starts screaming. And Harry is laughing hysterically. It's like being on a roller coaster, right? Some people scream and others are like, this is awesome! <laughs> yeah, like I said, I do appreciate that scene. But he's still a wanted man, so what are you going to do? Right, right. And that's what Gary Oldman's telling him. Right now, he would have. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. I'm getting sick and tired of hearing that, and we, because we only had it 13 times this movie. So Buckbeak and him are just gonna chill out, I guess. Yeah, he's the Lone Ranger. Why not? He's the Lone Wizard. You know, you know what? I would actually, that would actually, I think that would actually be a good series. Have you know, give us a series of um, Sirius Black and Huck and Buckbeak, you know, evading the law and stuff like that. That would be a good series. I'd watch that. Get about a year out of it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, come on. That'd be cool. You can't tell me that would not be cool. Yeah. Except from what he, uh, cause you, I mean, obviously we hear from him and the uh, later books and he just kind of hides in caves and like, it just doesn't seem like. No, that's unfortunate. Work around it. Cause obviously if something cool did happen, he probably wouldn't want to tell Harry. So he wouldn't worry. Thank you. I I, lo I love that. It's like he knows exactly what's going on, and he's just yep. I thought bye. you locked that. Okay, this is just cruel. He's your friend, and you're not going to tell him what you just did. Ron, how much pain pills have you been on? Have you taken this, oh, this evening? Oh my god, why does it keep killing the birds? It really doesn't like birds. And you think like the birds will learn, oh, let's not go near it? Right? Oh, you're really good if you knew he was coming. Who else would come visit him? Ah, uh, the map. Okay, the map. The map. You know what's the map? Loop in. Parents will not want a, um, but 
That's very efficient. That makes tidying up really easy. Right. Because you guys didn't tie him up. He's in the world. To help you cover the truth. You say the innocent man from a terrible thing. Thank you for saving one of my best friends, Harry. Yeah. Again, another opportunity to explain briefly how you know how to work the map. Now, yeah, yeah he's Mooney. Well, they did. They did set up that he, he, he. They did say that he made it in the movie. So, oh, they did say he made it. Yeah, they did say that. I will. Yeah, in the subtitles, it did say that he made it. So, but it didn't explain well, their nicknames. Yeah, you know, Yeah, it didn't explain the nicknames. And, and again, with the horses and the guy and the headless guy. Seriously, they could have done so much with that instead of just a background thing. Oh, they, they show him getting the broom now. That's fair. <clears throat> Why does he need a crutch? What's it? What, what's it? So, uh, what the, I, I, I didn't see what it said in the fire in the subtitles. It's a broom. It's called a firebolt. Sirius Black gave him a broom, a uh, firebolt, he said. So what, is this like the Nimbus 3000 or something? Yeah, it's the newest uh, model. Yeah, to replace his broken broom. Ah. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, that's right, too. In the book, the episode, or the Quidditch match where the Dementors came, he, he didn't see a dog-shaped cloud. He actually saw the dog watching because Sirius Black had come to watch his godson play Quidditch. Oh. So he knew the broom had been damaged. Oh, and that's the end? That's it? Oh. That's it. Mm. So, yeah, I I certainly see where you're coming from that this was, because uh, this movie was not as good as the other two. Because like I said, I really, thank God I was watching the movie with you because I was really getting confused there for a lot of parts. I so, mean, yeah, that was. They, I mean, because like you were complaining how the first two over explained everything and made it obvious. So I, I get, yeah. I appreciate how they try to tone back on that. Yeah, but this one went too far to the other direction though. They went way too far in the other direction. I just. No, because I mean, it, mind you, I will, I will fully admit it's a hard balance of you know explaining too much and not giving the audience anything. This one is very much not giving the audience anything. Like they never really explain. Like they briefly went over what an animus, animus yeah. was, and that that was kind of crucial to the plot because that was saying, "Hey, Sirius is this black dog that keeps following Harry, and the rat is actually a person." Like it brings it back. Because, like, they're yeah. supposed to be, oh, but all anima, I, all animaguses are, like, logged. You know, like, when you get your driver's license, this is your car. Uh, so, whenever yeah. you learn how to do it, there's, they say, okay, this person turns into this thing. But these three learned how to do it illegally. And so, uh, nobody actually knew. That's how Peter faked his death so effectively. You don't really well, need to know that there's a log of who's what, but, like... So basically what he did is he cut off one of his fingers and then shrank yeah. to a rat and then skipped out. Right. Right. Okay. That makes sense. Well, cutting off one of your own fingers, it's not a, that's, that's Ooh. very difficult. Yes. Yeah. So no, but I'm, like I said, I'm going to say, thank God. I'm, again, thank God I was watching this with you because there, for a lot of the movie, I'm just like, wait, what, wait, what, wait, what? So, but, but yeah, thankfully you were there to explain everything to me. Um, it really irritates me. This, like I said, yeah. this is my favorite book. 
They have time travel. It's just a lot of fun. I love it. Mm -hmm. Not that yeah. Long. So, um, and unfortunately, I think that's it for the free Harry Potter movies. Let me double. While yeah. I'm on the screen, I'm just going to look here real quick. Uh, where's the fourth one? It's got the little. There it is. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. It, the, uh, the next one has to be watched with premium. So, unfortunately, um, that's kind of it for Harry Potter. Um, Until more. Yeah, I guess we'll check yeah. it monthly or something and see yeah, if we'll, more. Yeah. Hopefully it comes back because. Because now I'm get, starting to get a little. Now I'm starting to get okay, you know. Because there is a there is a world here, and it is a pretty interesting world. Um, I don't know if I'm going to read the books or not. I'm kind of in the midst of three other books at this time, so I don't. I might add them to the list of what I'm reading. I might. I'm not promising anything. Um, but there is certainly a world of you know, you know that is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, like you. Yeah, I could certainly see that this was it, this movie was lacking. I was I was really getting annoyed at certain parts of like you know okay you can't just do this and not do this or you know you give a give the audience something. Yeah, they obviously had time. He spent a lot of time with bats and random tree scenery mm. and the people singing in the choir. It's like you couldn't have squeezed in. Yeah. A Something. Two more explanations, like mm -hmm. well, because well, like you said, they did have is it was at least more subtle than what they did in the past movies. So yeah. like it flowed better. I'll give them mm -hmm. that. But yeah, again, but, he had at least two good opportunities to explain the nicknames and how the four of them were best friends and inseparable. But it's all right. Just, yeah. Well, that raises the question of if you were a friend of these people, why did you portray them? But I don't know. I mean, granted, granted, a lot of people are. Or two. So Peter, what uh, Pettigrew? Like, obviously, the of the four in their group, James Potter, Sirius Black, and Remus Lupin were like the three best friends, and they were like, you know, they were. They were they were jocks, right? They they picked on Snape. Obviously, they weren't the best of people. They were always, um, as Snape said, they were always causing trouble. Obviously, they yeah. made the map to help them do that. And so, like P Peter was just he was the shy a, guy. not quite the shy guy, but the one that gets attracted to the power and wants to hang out with you. Uh, oh, so okay. Can be on the attention and and get on everything. So, um. Sirius was originally supposed to be the secret keeper of the Potter's location because Voldemort was after them. Yeah. And he chickened out, unfortunately, which nobody knew. And he instead had Peter be the secret keeper, which I don't know why anyone thought that was a good idea and agreed to it. Because yeah. Peter had obviously, I mean, since he was the shy little kid who is whatever, attracted to power, he obviously was working for Voldemort. Because Voldemort's definitely the more powerful wizard, gave them up pretty easily. It was like, "Hey, I know where the Potters are. Let me tell you." Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of unfortunate because I think it would have been better. I think it could have been better had I mean, because you know, have it be that no, he didn't want to betray Peter to betray the Potters. It's just he was, you know, it's like you know, Voldemort threatened to kill him, so it was like you know, he was an unwilling accomplice. Because that that is some that's that's always an avenue I'm always interested to explore. It's like don't have this be you know well like like when I did the writing prompt you know it's like this is not this is not a willing participant. This is someone who by all accounts is being forced to do this and regrets yeah. what he does. No, because uh, um, Trelawney's um, prophecy, she she said that his uh, Voldemort's biggest supporter or whatever they called him would rise again. Peter Pettigrew was. By all means, like the Darth Vader to Voldemort's like okay. Empire Palpatine. was oh. his right hand man. He was his staunchest supporter. He believed in Voldemort a lot, which is um they get into like that's his role for the next couple of movies is him trying to bring back Voldemort because he's like, I am your biggest supporter. Look what I did for you. Yeah. 
No, but I but I, I think it could have been better. Um, this is not a criticism of the of this movie in particular. It's a criticism of J.K. Roll of uh, the books in general. Because, like I said, I think it would have been a more powerful story of he's not doing this willingly. He's like being, you know, he's being tied. You know, he's been, you know, forced to do this. I mean, granted, that's just me. Yeah. I, I really yeah. like those stories of, you know, it's like I don't have a choice in the matter. So, but like I said, yeah, that I is mean, just me. Especially like the way the story like shook out. You you kind of look at Sirius and Peter or in um. And Lupin, and you're just like, seriously, how did you not see this coming? Like, serious, why did you have Peter Pettigrew be the secret keeper? If you were that, like, worried about accidentally giving them up, why wouldn't you have Lupin do it? Or just anybody other than the weakest friend you have? Yeah, the weakest friend. You had to have yeah. known how that kid was, right? Like, if, he, if you went to high school with him and he hung out with you for four years, you know who, who your weak link is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you have so, one, you know who they are. Yeah, well, everybody has that one friend that they know is the weak link. Let's put it that way. So yeah, but somehow so yeah, I, he believes that his that Sirius killed his best friend and then killed Peter Pettigrew. And I'm like, what? When and what universe do you know of that Peter Pettigrew would have stood up to Sirius Black or anybody for that matter? He would have yeah. had you know this. Well, you know, we already saw in this movie he's a he was a, I mean he was he wasn't even willing to stand up against Harry, and yeah. you know Harry is a definitely you know so many years his junior and certainly his junior in magic, but still, so I don't know. Um, yeah, so that was a uh, that one had I will say had I watched these movies before, I really think and without I mean without you watching it with me, I think this movie would have turned me off of the Harry Potter universe. Just because it was, you're right. This was not a good movie. Um, I'll as as a movie on itself, I'm gonna say this. Oh, bitch! I'm gonna say this is like two, like a two or a three out of five. It was not that good. Because, like I, I mean, said, there was a lot of parts. Of the, it, but I. Well, like I, I said, know. a lot of times during the movie, I'm going, wait, this stuff, wait, what, wait, wait, what, wait, what, and I mean, like even now, I'm like. Well, had you not explained it, I'd still be going, wait, what? But yeah. so yeah, that was a lack that was certainly the the worst of the three movies I've seen yet. Um hopefully we'll be able to get, continue on um with them. But uh yeah, yeah um considering it is now ten thirty, I think we should probably be calling it. It is pretty late. So um yeah, I will turn off the stream now. Thank you everybody for watching and we will see you next week. Bye bye. <laughs> Oh... Uh.